At the time, this movie, I guess, was fil being filmed, Tupac had already dropped his first album, right? I think he was uh, on Tommy Boy. I think Tupacalypse he... Now. Right, 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 right. That's, that had Brenda's Got a Baby, Baby and, and stuff that. like that. He wasn't really a rap star back then. No, the he first was album, with Digital Underground. Yeah, he was with Digital Underground, right. and he had the same song, and then his right. debut album came out. They did just okay. I think Brendan's Got a Baby came out after Juice, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check. I think that came out after Juice. Because he didn't. Well, I mean, Brendan's Got a Baby is on that first album. Right. But maybe the single came out later, I guess. Yeah, I you're right. You're yeah. right. I think the single might have came. It was the second single. From the second single, right. Yeah, Trapped was the first single. Right. Got it. Okay. So, did you know who Tupac the rapper was at that point? No, hell, shit. I damn near was trying to battle him. when, when, Because when we was auditioning, like, when they got us in the room over here, that's when we really got fly. We was in the room, you know, waiting to go in that room. But while we over here waiting to go in that room, we done switched the lines and rolls around so many times. Everybody know the shit. So, we in there freestyling, rapping. And uh, Pac would just kill it. And that's when I realized that, you know, all the rapping I thought I could do, I cannot do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that was my first lesson from Tupac. You know, nigga, you can't rap. You know, but, um, yeah, uh, that's that's where we really kind of, like, gelled in, 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 in that room and kind of got familiar with, you know, who's who and, you know, how you get down outside these walls and everything. Okay. And Tupac came from a performing arts school. Right. So he had already had a bunch of drama classes and right. stuff like that. And I remember like seeing these old interviews with like Tretch, where it was like, you know, Tretch was I guess trying out for some roles all you know, for for the movie also and Tretch came in and did the lines all regular and then Tupac came in and was like well, all, you know, animated and extra and Tretch right. was looking at him like, God damn, like what are you doing? Like <laughs> What, what, he got the role. What what happened was it was actually Tretch's audition. If I'm not mistaken, that was oh. Tretch's audition. And they wound up seeing Pac there. And Ernest was like, Who's that? Hey, you wanna read? You wanna read for a role or whatever? And Pac did it and, and killed it. And that's exactly how it happened. He, you know, really, you know, took it, took it over the top. I had no clue of the performing arts, uh, I had no clue of uh, his Black Panther background, uh, you know, his family. I, I really, I really didn't have no clue, and I don't, I don't really believe any of us did at that time because that's not something that Pop. He had so much going on and so much to talk about. That wasn't one of his main topics. He wasn't going around like, yeah, you know who I am, and I, I did this. Nah, you had to know him, you know. Uh, and, and and really know that part of them, you know, it's not something they just want to sleep. So no, I was I wasn't aware. Okay, then Omar Epps is also in it, who went on to have a a big career. Big career. Big career. Shout out to O. And Khalil Kane. Right. Was was the fourth member who I interviewed and we talked about how he got, you know, his role in the film as well. So when I went in for the auditions for Juice and and got called back it felt like a reality. It felt like it's hap this is happening. So acknowledge it and, and be about it. And then having Tupac Shakur in the room auditioning, because they were having us all sort of read together. Um, that kid was, was after it. Like you could tell he, wa he, was, he was booking this job regardless. Um, so I really think to this day, like if, if I had not audition have not had Tupac in the room, I might not have gotten that job because I felt like I had to kind of top this dude if I wanted to be in this movie because he was, he was bringing it, you know? I was like, all right, cool, let's, let's get in. And, um, and we just got after it. Ultimately came down to the four of you. So you guys start filming. How was that process? Because I mean, you've already done films before. Did, did, did Omar Epps do films before? No, I don't, I don't believe that. was his first film? Yeah, I think... As far as film experience, I think me and Pac at the time were the only two that really had the like the film experience. I'm not sure if Khalil uh, had the experience or training mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever, but... Uh, 
It was crazy, man, because coming from Lean On Me, a Warner Brothers film uh, was more like a, 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 it was controlled set because we're filming it at a high school that's still in session in its testing period. So they got the school blocked off. So it's a little more controlled. When we did Juice, hey, Juice was like a party. You know, we, we filming all night. You know what I mean? If we might do two or three days just to get that club scene, you know, with the DJ battle. You know what I mean? And, and, and with that, it was just like being at a party because you got all the people that will be at a party. You know what I'm saying? You got the music, you got all, and you know, we out there all night. And it was, it was, it was a thing for me. Scheduling was the hardest part, trying to make time for, you know, the people that I done met and things like that, because you know, you never know until they rap what time you have to be back to set tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me it was a, it was, it was more like, all right, I'm free. Then I didn't have to have my mother on the set with me. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Jermaine. Like I'm really like I'm, I'm coming of, you know, my, my, my adulthood and in this world. I remember the first time me and Pop went out. He, you know, I bathed him. He took me with him and shit. Cause I'm like, man, you know, I always wanted to be a rapper, man. You got this rap shit wrapped around your finger, man. Take me with you, man. We go to some party, man, and um, we get to the bar. He be like, yo, what you, what you drinking, man? But you know, I'm 17 years old. I ain't used to being at no bar. I don't know the difference between the bar and the liquor store. Certain things that you can get out the liquor store that you can't get out the bar. And Old English 800 was one of them. So I'm at the bar. I'm like, give me an Old 800. Pa said, man, they ain't got that shit in here, big chops. <laughs> Next, you're going to ask for a damn ham sandwich. You know? So, you know, that was our relationship. And and after that, you know, Pop would actually, you know, it would it would it would get upset to the point where it's like, man, I'm gone, man. You you on some other shit, you know. But uh, it was all love, man. And uh, yeah, that was that was my first experience learning, like, okay, they don't sell forties in the club. 